Hey guys, Sunny Black here, just bringing you another commentary. Today I'm going to be bringing you a free for all match on WMD. Uh, I'm going to be using the Galil with Extended Mags. My perk setup is Scavenger Pro, Slide of Hand Pro, and Ninja Pro. I am using the Spy Plane, Counter Spy Plane, and the Napalm Strike. I decided to use really low kill streaks for this game because I wanted to kind of challenge myself and see if I could get a good score without using a chopper gunner or uh, something that will kill people automatically for me other than like a napalm strike that doesn't always get you very many kills uh, so as you saw I died right off the bat right there and that wasn't a very good start it kind of actually brought down my spirits a little bit I thought that it might have been a bad game um, most of my match uh, most of this match will be on this side of the map I find it a lot easier to control in a free-for-all situation because it's a lot more open uh, towards the middle, but there's also a lot of cover inside the building right here. As you can see, I'm already on a three kill streak, just tearing fools up with the Galil. Um, the strategy I usually like to use for free for all is to kind of find an area that I'm comfortable with on the map and keep it under control because the more comfortable or relatively knowledgeable you are with an area, the better you'll do because you will be able to keep it under control. And as you can see, the guys around here don't really see me coming before I kill them. Right now I already got my napalm strike, gonna call that in. So far I'm doing pretty decent. And there I get killed right after I call him my napalm strike. And I was actually gonna go after him but uh, the napalm was in my way so I couldn't get to where he was or where he had killed me at. I find claim was really useful in free-for-all because not only does it give is like a means to defend yourself but it's also a way of making sure that you can um, keep flanking areas clear if uh, someone tries to come around behind you and flank you it's not always gonna work out very well for them because you know you got a claymore there or you're either watching it or something uh, I was really surprised at how well I did in this game because there was actually quite a few of uh, Prestige players, but like I've said before, Prestige doesn't really mean anything. It just means that the person plays the game a lot. And uh, right now I'm level 50, first Prestige. I don't think I'm going to be Prestiging again because I find it really annoying and tedious having to try and get all the way back up to 50. So I think I'm just going to stay at level 50 right now, first Prestige. Uh, at this point in the commentary, or the gameplay, sorry, uh, I was doing pretty solid. Um, I'm keeping a pretty good guard on this side of the map, which is what I wanted to keep under control. I wanted to try and make sure that none of the enemies would be getting behind me, so I used the spy plane to its full advantage. And right here, that guy's actually AFK, so that treated me pretty well. There's also another guy I could see coming up the stairs right here on the UAV, just shooting a little bit. Uh, I've noticed a lot in killing enemies, I tend to aim down at the legs a lot, and legs and kind of towards our groin area. I'm not exactly sure why, it's just like when you zoom in, you're pretty much already down by their legs, so I guess it's a lot easier. On another note, uh, I play on tactical button setup, button layout, so it's actually pretty hard for me to knife people, because I have to go all the way and push circle. So, uh, You'll see how it took me a second to kind of knife that guy. I had to actually take my thumb off of the right analog stick and push circle. I'm lucky he didn't turn around and just shoot me or something. Uh, a lot of the people in this room were trying to camp up top on the walkway, but it wasn't really working out for them because even though they had the higher advantage point, they didn't really know where I was at the time. Oh, and right here there's a major lag. I don't know what happened to that guy, but he just uh, teleported, like, right in front of me. But luckily I drop shot at him like a tryhard. And I got the drop on him, like, literally. You know, drop shot, and I got the drop. Yeah, anyways. Uh, slide of hand is really, is really, really useful for free-for-all, I think, because not only do you get to reload faster, but I think the main point of it is that you get to... Uh, aim down sights a lot quicker and it tends to help out in gunfights if uh, the other person isn't using sleight of hand then you'll automatically have advantage, an advantage over them because you can zoom in down your sights a lot faster than they can which in turn will help you win a gunfight if you have good accuracy 
And I think that's the third time I've killed somebody trying to climb up the ladder right there. I don't know, they apparently weren't taking the hint. But I actually think I do get one more kill of a guy still trying to climb up to that top and it's obviously it doesn't work out, so I don't know what they're what they're trying to do or whatever. Nope, oh, man, there you go. <laughs> get dropped. Um I haven't died in quite a while in this con in this little streak. I'm probably around I want to say maybe like a 13 or 14 kill streak, something like that. And I'm still going. Like these guys kept coming back for revenge kills, and revenge kills don't usually work out if your enemy's a smart player because he's gonna be watching where his flanks are. He's gonna be watching all the different angles, and if they're a strong player, then they'll know where to be looking. And especially uh, like you saw in this commentary, I uh, am using UAV, and UAV definitely helps uh, with keeping a good sense of where your enemies are. Uh, gameplay is actually coming down to a little bit of a close. I'm already at 1450 right now and the next next person is 8 kills behind me. I, was, I kept a pretty good lead on the enemies the whole game. And uh, right here, I don't know what happened but I think I saw like movement inside so I kind of jerked back and I uh, ended up like two shot and then right in the leg right there. Alright guys, well that was the gameplay for today. Um, I'll be trying to keep more gameplays coming out as much as I can. Final score was 30-3. and three. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe for more. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.